current long-standing paradigm I call Mindshare because it's a psychological model based, you know, there's a value proposition but the brand, how people perceive it associated, it's based on these associations we have with this product. Very atomistic, you know, one person, my reaction to the brand, um, and it's cognitive, it's these associations, feelings, and so forth. What isn't in that model? History, culture, society. If you actually go study brands in the world, they're cultural objects. They get meaning and value and circulation out in society. What we do with them, what the media says about them, and that changes over time given the context that they live in and given what the brand does in those changing contexts. So if you don't have a model that actually treats the brand out in the world, you don't have a strategy that can impact it in a significant way. So the model cultural branding is built from scratch thinking, okay, if we're going to do strategy given the way we know brands really exist and we want to not just do kind of caretaker but really drive the business, build great new brands, renovate ones that are failing, make a big difference with brand strategy, what would that be? And so that's what I've worked for, you know, 15 years now, building up what that is, and it's a different paradigm. Why? Because the theory is different. What is a brand? So, okay, we have to, we have to bring in dis different disciplines to gather insights, to build strategy, to creative works differently, everything works differently. Cultural branding works nothing like that, um, as I've discovered, you know, trial and error over time. Where you start depends every time on the specific case, because sometimes if you have a very developed, you know, iconic brand that's run off, you know, faded, you want to start with the equities that have gone dormant, because, so you start with the things that are the most solid and easiest to get to. Sometimes the cultural opportunity is the easiest. Sometimes starting with the category and seeing if there's any opportunity. So it, it just depends. Each time you're looking for where can I get the best clues the fastest and you start building from that. And so the answer is there's no place to start. And if you think there is, you're not doing cultural branding.